This is a book review of Ken Reed's Creepy Creations. Now, this is from the Treasury of British Comics, and this book came out in December 2018, and it's Rebellion. Rebellion have been bringing out loads and loads of brilliant books, and they've got a couple of volumes of Ken Reed's work, so uh, I will be getting those, I expect, at some point. To be honest, I actually thought I was getting one of the other ones. I ordered the wrong one. However, I actually enjoyed this. Once I got it and looked at it, I thought, you know what? Still wasn't bad, but it wasn't the one I was intending to order. I don't know why I ordered the wrong one. I do that quite often. I think, oops. And then when I get it, I think, hmm. However, welcome to the creep show at the back. You've got obviously a lovely raspberry there blowing, which is, of course, perfectly thing. I'm not certain how many raspberries actually blow, but however, it's obviously pretty good. Now, these were uh, mentioned things like Whoopi. Well, predominantly this is in the uh, wanted posters and worldwide weirdies being created for Whoopi. But this is Shiver and Shake. It wasn't a magazine a comic that I bought that often. Now, the comic came out in 1973-74, but I'm not certain what the whole year is, but that's when the material from this in this book is from 1973 to 1974. And, of course, the paper quality is much better than the original. So you've got the... Uh, uh, I'm just going to show a few examples, but uh, don't want to show too many because, of course, it's good to get. You can see what sort of thing you're getting. You're not getting comic strips. So if you come into this expecting a comic strip, you're not going to get a comic strip. And you've got uh, some pretty ghastly things. But they, the thing is, they're created by, from a reader. So a reader with this crazy monster piece wins one pound for Fiona Smith. Oh, and so on, so on, so on. Kevin Jones. And Stephen uh, Wackett and Susan, I can't say her name, Skudblaski. Uh, sorry, my apologies for saying your name incorrect. And so on and so on. They're all over the place. So you've got Connorsborough. I have no idea where Connorsborough is. Birmingham, I do know where Birmingham is. However, you've got just page upon page of these things. And they're lovely frames as well. So not only have you got the thing that obviously Kevin, Ken Reed has uh, drawn, You've also got the uh, around the edge, which sometimes, in a sense, is quite often forgotten, which is quite sad, the frame. So you've actually, if you look at the frame, you actually see around the edge. He's actually drawn multiple monsters around the frame. Now, obviously, they're the same ones each week. He hasn't redrawn them, but uh, just look at it. There are some variations. So this one has got a slightly different one than the previous week. So they're not all consistently, yeah. Obviously, he didn't go do millions of these frames. That would take an enormous amount of time. But still, I think the drawing is absurd. Any slight criticism would have been nice if the, uh, and again, you can see another one of these, uh, this one's, and they've got, they're numbered. So you've got number 60. So they're all included, number 61, 62, 63, 64, like Lamplight, Larry from Litchfield, and the alliteration is very popular there. So creepy creations, it's always got the word creepy creations. But you've got, like I said, the frames, and everything. but it hasn't got which issue it was from. Now, I would have loved it if it just down the bottom and said Shiver and Shake, issue 19, you know, blah, 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 1973, April or something. But it doesn't, so. So you've got all the way through cre uh, Creepy Creations, and it's got, sorry, go any further, has got a great introduction as well. And I love introductions in the book, so uh, you've got the Spotter's Guide at the start. Then you've got the erupting pressure of the cooker of Preston Brook, which is very nice, obviously from his uh, Anthony J. Reed. And then you've got this introduction, sort of some details about all the various things, wanted ones. So you've got some examples of the wanted ones. These apparently were in the Whoopi comic. So uh, some of the sort of things. And he's, and he's actually got one there where it's obviously the original artwork. That was number 64, Old Granny England. And you've got some, obviously, beauty. to be honest, looking at those, I mean, I'm not saying the colour ones, but, but actually I would have loved to have seen this book all if they had been black and white, because that is so much nicer in black and white, that crispness. But maybe they just haven't got that. Probably, I'm certain, that's obviously using the original illustration. Maybe, I hope, that all these original illustrations are still available, because it, that would be lovely to see a volume of beautiful that beautiful artwork. I mean, you... When you see the comic books, they're great. They're great. And obviously that's what people remember because the garish colours, the blues, the greens, that sort of thing. But I, I 
really love the inked work as well. So that would have been brilliant. Some bonus material at the back would have been five or ten pages of those inked pages would have been amazing. However, let's go all the way through to the back. And it's got, in a sense, quote, bonus material, because obviously it has a little bit more creepy creation calendars. Lovely one from 1975. Uh, all the way through to December, that's lovely. All the, all the things you don't want for Christmas. Homework book. Well, actually, I probably would have liked that one. However, chocolates you don't like. Definitely, that's true. There's lots of chocolates, toffees especially, that I do not like. So, mini monsters, mini monsters, and then you've got mini monsters again. Again, it doesn't say which issues they come from, which is slightly disappointing, but horoscope, you've got horoscope, horror scope. You've got some more drawings by the, and of course, really, really good illustrations again. That's why. And then it's got an advert for what's coming soon, and obviously already out because it's 2019. This is the Sweeney Toddler one I will be buying. Uh, Sweeney Toddler one there. And I actually thoroughly enjoyed Sweeney Toddler when it was out. But it's very similar to, of course, to many, many other of these sort of things. They were. They did so many. Basically, you had the father figure and the kid, of course, in trouble. You always had the, the local lads or whatever that would cause trouble, and so on and so on. It was just they did sort of have a certain theme over and over again. But they were always very inventive, very enjoyable, based around a theme. I mean, it's very I mean, it's very hard. It means you can quite easily say, oh, well, you know, it's always the same. 50-odd pages, 50 stories, say, of the same thing. But you've got to get that sort of ability to... Do the twists of the formula endlessly, make some variations, and I think sometimes that they do, they did amazingly well considering the limitations of sometimes some of these characters. You got here Snore and a guy, <laughs> brilliant. Ken reads Worldwide Weirdies as well. That was the one I was actually intending to buy. <laughs> From pages of Whoopi and Shiv and Shake. Yeah, but uh, I obviously accidentally chose the wrong one. But still, no criticism at all, because actually it turned out to be a very, very enjoyable volume. And uh, I thought I enjoyed it. I think it's just great. Absolutely. I love posted books. I've got quite a lot of posted books. The only disappointments, like I say, is a few minor things like that. And also maybe it would have just been better if it had been. Because poster books, you just want to be really large. Posters are great. And I think some of these will be superb. I just hope the original artwork is still available and accessible and could be uh, you know used for something like a bigger volume wow really good though superb yet another brilliant book from rebellion and uh, as i say hopefully they'll be bringing out many 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 more of those